Well, the race for the World Series crown is down to eight. And a capacity crowd is in postseason form as we get you ready for this one. It's game one of the National League Division Series between the Washington Nationals and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, let's take a look at how these two ball clubs got to where they are. Yeah, and you can see how these two teams stack up. And it's hard to say exactly who you'd give the edge to right now. But it wouldn't surprise me at all if the pitchers were the guys that got the upper hand in this series. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Back now live as we count down to the start of game one. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your Los Angeles Dodgers. Briefly now, we'll look at the two starters who get the ball here in game one. More from the guys as this one goes along. But first, let's give you a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Washington Nationals. As their order here this afternoon will look like this. And there you get a look at the starting pitcher whose job it'll be to keep these guys in check. His number is right there on the right side of your screen. And behind him defensively, the Dodgers will line up like this. Ian Desmond will step to the plate now as we're ready to get this one underway. On the ground to third. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Yeah, probably not an ideal at bat from your leadoff hitter here in the first. He'd like him to stretch that count a little, try and work his way on base. Instead, he rolls over on the first pitch, and he's gone before you know it. So the base is empty here with one away, and here's the left fielder, Jason Worth. Here's the first offering, and the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. All in all, a great afternoon for baseball. 73 degrees here at first pitch. Here it comes. And that misses one and one. That's probably how this afternoon's going to play out. I mean, this is a home plate umpire that likes to keep a tight strike zone. One one. Now one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to one and two. Here comes a one two and a bouncing ball foul.
high again, 1-2. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. Two, two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Not only do you not want to lose this guy, you got more trouble right there in the on deck circle. Full count pitch on its way. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Three and two, here it is. Finally got him to lunge at one there as this is popped high in the air over toward the left side of the infield. And he'll put this away for the second out. Well, this will wind up nothing more than a pop-out in the scorebook. But what won't go unnoticed in that dugout is that he battled for an awfully long time there. That takes a lot of energy out of a guy when he's got to throw that many pitches. Bryce Harper will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. the first pitch. High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one. You'd have to say so far so good here for the rookie. Yeah. I mean he's getting ahead. He's mixing his pitches. He'd like to put up a zero to get that first inning out of the way and he's close to making that happen. Here comes the 1-0. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Ready now on one and one. And this is lined into left field for their first hit of the ball game. Well, even when you keep him in the ballpark, he can be trouble. And here he's right on this pitch, and he smokes it in the left field for a solid single. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. And a fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Boy, I don't know that I'd want to be facing this guy right now. He looks pretty fired up out there. Yeah, he looks like he could run that fastball through a brick wall. The next pitch. Harper running from first. Pitch misses low. The throw down. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. And later in the game, maybe you question this decision to run because you worry about taking the bat out of the hands of one of your best hitters. But here in a scoreless game, I doubt they're going to put him on. So that was a good job to take what's given to you. Two zero on the way. And this is a called strike at the letters. Looked like ball three, but make it two and one instead. Now you can bet now that in the postseason, on the road, in game one here, they'd like nothing better than to get on the board first. Just kind of let these guys know that they mean business. And they've got an early opportunity to do just that. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there, two and two. Well, that's just unfair right there. I mean, most guys throw a 91-mile-an-hour fastball. He's throwing a 91-mile-an-hour slider. Sets the 2-2 two -two pick. This ball's grounded foul. Two pitch on the way. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. Nationals leave one. The Dodgers coming up and we are scoreless. Now the starting lineup for Don Mattingly's Los Angeles Dodgers. It looks like this.
they'll match up against an imposing presence indeed. The number one overall pick in 2009, hard-throwing right-hander Steven Strasburg. And defensively, here's how Washington will take the field behind him. D. Gordon will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Second baseman, D. Gordon. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now here it comes. Runs up to Bunn here, but this is going to kick just foul down the line. Two strike pitch from Strasburg. The ball and two strikes now to the 2014 All-Star. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. That's a great job there just to hold off. Here comes the one-two. Now a swing and a fly ball. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Well, you know, he had the right idea up there, so at least you know he's thinking. He tried to go the other way with this ball, but he got under it just a little bit, and it's an easy play out there in left field. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that'll bring in the dangerous left fielder, Carl Crawford. First pitch coming. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. The 1-0 pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Strasburg on one and one. And now for the second batter in a row. This is in the air out to left field. And Worth is under it now. And there are two away here. And this is a situation where you've got back-to-back -back flyouts from two guys who really need to start hitting the ball on the ground. That speed isn't doing you any good when you're hitting lazy fly balls. Yasiel Puig will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. Now here's the first pitch. That tails back over, strike one. This has been just the kind of start you hope for in a game one. Now the pitch. Out of play. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now a pitch on the way. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. Sometimes if you let that changeup go too soon, it'll take off on you. He's lucky that didn't hit him. Now the one-two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Yeah, and on one and two, when you know the guy at the plate needs to protect, that's a great spot for that curveball. A lot of guys, they would have gone fishing for that. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. On to the second now at Dodger Stadium with no score. Ryan Zimmerman will lead things off here as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second.
First offering on the way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. You know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Here's the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. The 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. The right-hander deals on one and two. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. And, you know, we're going to see this happen quite a bit out there. You know, that's not exactly the tallest outfield fence you're ever going to find. So this ball hops right over it for a ground rule double. Adam LaRoche will stand in with a runner in scoring position already here following the ground rule double. First pitch on the way. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. A runner at second. Nobody out. He waits. Now the pitch. Swing and a liner. And a high throw to Adrian as it's over his head. Nate McLeod steps in now. Nate McLeod. First pitch to him. And he takes something off here as this is a lazy fly ball out to center field. Kemp is right there, one down. Batting eight. Second baseman. Anthony Rendon. Anthony Rendon digs in at the plate. And here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And he'll reach first safely. Steven Strasburg will stand in now with the bases loaded, and this is one at bat. He doesn't want to just throw away. He can really help himself here. Yeah, hitting is not really in a lot of pitchers' DNA, but you're right. He can find a way to just find a hole with a ground ball. That could be huge. First pitch coming. Side corner for strike one. Oh, that's a good fastball right there. And you had to figure that he was looking for that sinker. He's ready now. The pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. He's set. Now the pitch. Fouled back. From the stretch. Three. Try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Oof. What a time to come up with the first strike out of the ball game. And now with two away, one more out, and you get out of this and strand a couple guys in scoring position. Ian Desmond will take his cuts now with a big opportunity to give his club the lead here. 
Let's get out of this inning. Here's the first offering. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Oh. Very tempting up there, but that's also a pitch that a lot of guys will pop up. So that's a nice job of laying off. The 1-0 -oh home. Now it's 2-0. and -oh. Well, he's starting to put himself into a no-win situation. Obviously, you don't want to walk home a run, but you can't just throw a cookie in there because he could bring in four with one swing. Come on, baby. Two well count, the pitch. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Oh, and he had a pitch to hit right there, too. He just didn't hit it. comes two and one on oh, this could be trouble now it's three and one now the pressure will really start to mount out there that strike zone's going to feel like it's the size of a soup can right now here he comes on three one now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Oh, it'd be a big letdown if they get nothing out of this. But they're a strike away from not coming through. Now the three and two pitch over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. The three two pitch. And he struck him out as danger is averted here in the second. And the inning is over. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. We're back with more of game one after this message and a word from our local stations. Matt Kemp will come forward to lead things off here for the Dodgers with Adrian Gonzalez due to hit next. Now the first pitch. In tight with the curveball. Backed up on him a little there, and it's ball one. That trying to go front door with that breaking ball started it a little too far inside. Though. The 1-0. -oh. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and -oh. And this is what you got to do up there, Steve. You've got to wait him out. Yeah, and if you can lay off the off-speed stuff, that's when you're going to get your fastball to hit. The 2-0 on the way. And here's a fastball for a strike. 2-1 and one now. Boy, and this is why you're trying to get yourself into good hitters' counts. This is just right down the middle on 2-0, and oh, and swinging at this should be your reward. But he decides to let it go. Good fastball that time as he's pulled the count back to even now. It's two and two. Mm, a little conviction behind that fastball. Here he comes on two and two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. That was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging out. Here's the full count offer. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. Once again, a 3-2. Now a swing and a ground ball, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again, 3-2. one more time and he takes ball four leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second hey you know what that's all right he gave him a pretty good battle up there and he never gave in to him a walk you can work around a home run you can't adrian gonzalez will get his first shot here with the runner on following the leadoff walk
Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0-1. A runner at first with no outs here. From the belt, kicks and deals. And that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0-2 now. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. He's ready. Now the pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. On 0-2, if that's a curveball, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight fastball. Here's the one-two. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Another 1-2. And there's a pitch Gonzalez takes, and we're back even at 2-2. Two and two. Just like the guy he faced before this, another long at-bat here. He's had to make 13 pitches just to these last two hitters. The 2-2. Two -two. In the dirt here, but fortunately here, no advance. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. The next 3-2. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Foul. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. The next 3-2. Grounded foul off to the left, so they'll do it again. Another full count pitch home. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. Try it again, three and two. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Payoff pitch one more time. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Um, this is just an excellent pitch right here. The location right at the bottom of the strike zone. And if you don't get him to swing through it, hopefully he's going to hit that ball on the ground somewhere and you'll get ground ball outs. But they'll take that strike out for out number one. Here's Handley Ramirez. And he puts a pretty good jolt into this one. High and deep to center. And Clough will make the play and there are two gone now. And with two away now, let's give you a look at the big picture here. There you see the participants in this year's playoffs. A.J. Ellis will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. First pitch coming. And a ball, 1-0. I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. That's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball and you wonder if he's feeling just a little bit distracted having that base dealer over there at first base 
Sometimes just the threat of a steal can really mess with your head out there. Now the 2-0 home. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. You figure he's taken now on the three ball count. Maybe even taken two. is on the way and a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four and as a result that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away oh you know he wanted that one now the inning will continue and the guy moves up into scoring position here justin turner will get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two Now the first pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more from game one after this. Jason Worth will start things off here for Washington with Bryce Harper on deck due to hit second. Here's the first offering. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. The 1-0 lays off again, and it's 2-0. This is a good approach when you're facing a pitcher you're not too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Here comes the 2-0. And there's a swing and a miss, 2-1 now. And that had all the looks of a guy who was going to take a giant hack, 2-0, no matter where that pitch was. EK, I know you never did that. No, not me. Uh, maybe once or twice. 2 1. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. The 2 2 coming. And he gets around on the fastball here as this is hit well out toward left field. One away here to begin the third. Now batting right fielder Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper will dig in. He singled his first time around. First pitch coming. And this one runs up high. Ball one. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. 1-0 on the way. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Now the 2-0. 3 and 0 now. And even on 3 and 0, it's no given that he's going to be taken up there. We've seen him go after pitches in this spot before. He's not going to hold back. One out, nobody on. Now the 3 and 0 offering. And he gets this fastball over back to 3 and 1 now.
Now the 3-1 pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball, and it's full now at 3-2. and two. Full count offering on its way. And he lost him. All four is Harper will reach. Wow, just a great at-bat right there. Simple as that. Patient, laid off some tough pitches. He was rewarded. Wilson Ramos will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Now here's the first pitch. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at-bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. He seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember, the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. 1-0 pitch now. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Runner goes for second. Swing and a hard hit grounder down the line. Ready with the 2-1. Called strike that time, and it's even at 2-2. Two two. Uh, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. Here's the two and two offering. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. Three two. Here it comes. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. one more time and he misses again here it's ball four and that's back to back walks here with one away yeah back to back walks for him now and he hasn't looked like he's wanted any part of these number three or four guys he's gonna have to shift gears now though because he's still got a dangerous number five guy ahead of him Ryan Zimmerman will stand in here he doubled his first time around First offering on the way. Nope. Ball one. And with two walks in the inning already, he can't afford to fall behind anybody else if he wants to stay in the game. Here's a 1-0. Nope. Ball two now. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. The 2-0. And a double steal try here. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Here comes the 2-1. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Third inning, no score to this point. Here now the 2-2. And that's lifted in the air out toward left. Crawford is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Adam LaRoche will stand in with two on and two out here in the third.
Now here's the first pitch. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Well, we've mentioned it already, but look at the pitch count here in the third inning. He's almost completely out of gas already. Here's the 1 0. That misses 2 0. Does he dare go fastball here 2 0? I think he's got to. Two men are on with two men out. Here comes the 2 0. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. That might take the anxiety away for the moment. But he's going to need a couple more here to prove to himself that he's not losing. A 2-1 offering. And this is going to be a foul ball. comes a 2-2. And a fastball swung on, missed, and the side is retired. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We're back with more of Game 1 after this message and a word from our local stations. Michael Lee makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number 3. Michael First pitch to him. Good breaking ball there. Had him frozen. Strike one. That's a major league curveball there. Those take a while to get used to, believe me. Pitch on the way. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. The pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Here's another 0-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Yeah, he essentially tripled up there. That means he threw the same pitch. One, two, three times in a row. You don't see that very often, but it's going to work out for him as he gets the strikeout. Here's D. Gordon now. First pitch misses to him. It's ball one. One oh on the way. And this will be fouled away. One one on the way. Half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. One, two. Now a ball hit back up the middle, and they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. This is not exactly the way you want to give up your first hit of the ball game. Just a little infield single here does the trick. But the way this club's been swinging the bats, they'll take it. So a runner at first with one out now. And here comes the speedy Carl Crawford. And here's the first pitch. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one.
Here's the 1-0. Fastball, and that thing's a blur up there, folks. One and one. And here, you've got good speed on base and at the plate. So, on a ground ball, it's not a foregone conclusion. You're going to get an out anywhere. Runner at first here, one man out. One one home now to Crawford, and this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. The one two, and he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two though. I'll give him this. He's not intimidated up there. That was inside, close to triple digits. He didn't even flinch. Here's the two and two home. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And that is just past his outstretched glove, and that ought to be a base hit. Long throw to third. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Yasiel Puig will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. First pitch on the way. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Pretty cool right there. You know, it's so important in a tough spot to get that first pitch strike over. And he's able to jump ahead. Runners leap from first and third. Here's the pitch. And the pitch bounces off his glove, and that could be a run. It is. And you know, there's no wrong way to get on the scoreboard for the first time. That's a great job at third of recognizing the situation. He takes off immediately, and he'll come in and score on the wild pitch. One one pitch on the way. Swung on and hit in the air out toward left. Worth is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Yeah, that's just a good pitch right there. That's a two-seam fastball working its way back inside. And he's probably fortunate he didn't break his bat. He winds up getting this one right down there on the label, and he's retired. So here's Matt Kemp now. And the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Now the 1 0. A good tailing fastball for a strike, one and one. Even though that's a strike. That's still not a bad take, because you're facing a guy that's already walked a few guys, so make him throw some more pitches. Run that pitch count up. Now Kemp awaits the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1-2. and two. comes a 1-2. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. It's a run on two hits here for L.A. On to the fourth now in game number one. It's the Dodgers one and the Nationals nothing. Nate McLeod will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Nate McLeod.
First pitch coming. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Here comes the 1-0. Now a fastball for a cold strike. It's 1-1. One one. Come on, Dodger! 1-1. One, one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. And we've seen guys swing at that four-seam riding fastball up in the zone. But you're never going to get on top of that thing when it's up that high. That's right, LA. Here comes the one-two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. I think it's pretty simple. The message here is stop leaning out over the plate. A pitcher's got to be able to work inside, so... That's just a reminder there. Now the 2-2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. And this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. And I'll tell you what. He's throwing with a lot of confidence right now. And he's also taking some chances with location. But you know, he's thinking he's bulletproof out there. And so far he has been. Anthony Rendon will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Here's the first offering. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. Here it comes. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. Well, I think he got away with one right there. I mean, this is a fastball right down the middle. And he just smokes this ball, too. But unfortunately, he hits it right at someone. So it becomes a fairly easy out. Steven Strasburg will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Yeah, and that's the swing of a guy hoping for a first pitch curveball right there. If he gets it, he hammers it. If not, he's about three feet too late. And the pitch. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Now here's the pitch. 1-1 one, one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. You have to figure that sinker is going to be an important pitch for him here this afternoon. No question about it. Obviously, it's his ground ball pitch, so if you're a hitter, you're going to need to make him bring that pitch up. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Three up, three down for Washington. It remains one nothing. Adrian Gonzalez will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Adrian Gonzalez. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And that's in there for strike one. And on the mound here, you got to make sure you pitch to the shift. You don't want to make it easier for a guy to go the other way on you. Now here it comes. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Here's the one one. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Now the one two. 
And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And fellas, if we do games together for the next decade, we might never see two starters in the same game throwing that hard. I mean, this has really been something. One gone now in the Dodger fourth. And here now a tough out in the person of the shortstop, Handley Ramirez. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Here's the 1-0 now to Ramirez. Another fastball. This one he gets by him. It's one and one. Just overmatched him there. Now the 1-1. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And that will find its way into right field for a one-out single. A pretty good swing there. You watch. Head stays down. Ball gets deep in the zone. And he lets those hands lead the way. And he drives it to right field. That's as good an approach as you're going to see. In now is A.J. Ellis. Swing and a hot shot toward third. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. And remember now, you've got a guy on first base that loves to run. And if he's on the move right there, this is going to be a double play. So luckily for them, he wasn't breaking that time. So in that respect, they might have caught a break. In now, Justin Turner, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. That's a good pitch call right there on that fastball away. That works almost like a pitch out, just in case he's thinking about it over there at first. Now the 1-0 pitch. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. I, I think he's going out there right now just to remind his guy, hey, this is the number eight hitter up there. No reason to, to work the edges. You just come right after him. Hitters count 2-0. And, oh. and he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2-2 two and two now. 2-2. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Dodgers leave one, but they lead it one to nothing. Ian Desmond will stand in to lead things off here, and his guys have been unable to get anything going to this point. Yeah, and you think so many times in the postseason, we see starting pitching really come to the forefront. And this guy's been every bit as good as advertised so far. First pitch coming. In there, no balls and a strike. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times, he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. And now a pitch on the way. Still taking here as he looks at the slider this time, and he's in a big hole now, down 0-2.
Here's the pitch. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Maybe a good opportunity here to show him a changeup, give him a different look. The right hander deals on one and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he will make the catch while ranging backward as he just put the glove up and hauled it in for the first down. And this is not an easy play here in right field because he knows that that side wall is approaching fast. But he's able to concentrate on the ball and check out the wall at the same time. And he makes a nice running catch near the line. Here's Jason Worth. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. The 1 0 pitch. Up top, it's 2 0. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Now the 2-0. Chopper foul. Pitch on the way. On Worth among the best in baseball. A couple of years ago working the count. He's got it to 3-1 and one now. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters counts. This is where you need to pounce. Here he comes, 3-1. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. And you know what? You hate giving up walks, but with a one-run lead and a guy like this up there, better to put him on first than to challenge him and give him a shot to tie the ball game. Bryce Harper will stand in, base on balls his last time. Now the first pitch. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. And after a walk, I think there's a little anger behind that fastball. From the belt, the pitch. Sets the target low here, and it misses one and one. Here comes the 1-1. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. And after that call, you know he's got to be turning around to say something like, hey, you know what? This guy doesn't need any help. Here's the one, two. To two balls and two strikes now. Two pitch on the way. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. I love this pitch right here. Just an elevated fastball with two strikes. Nothing much to it. He just says, this is just a good old country fastball. And he runs it right by him. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Comes set, now the pitch. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Yeah, one pitch away now from getting through five shutout innings. And I'll tell you what, the way he's throwing, this could turn out to be a night off for the bullpen. Pause, now the pitch. I uh, can't get him to go after that slider. It's one and two. A classic strikeout pitch there on 0 and 2. It's one he loves going to. The great recognition there at the plate to lay off.
one two and that's taken outside for a ball so he's worked it back to two and two now yeah that was outside but it's right where he wants that pitch to be if you do take that thing there's no guarantee that it won't be called strike three two two and there he goes towards second and he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning one left for Washington they're down one nothing Michael Lee will come forward now to start things out against his opposite number and these two have matched each other pitch for pitch here through the first half or so of this ball game yeah, I think we had an idea runs might be hard to come by. You know, maybe not this hard to come by, but both of these guys have been just about flawless so far. Now the first pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. The next pitch. Swing and a miss at the bender, and it's even at one and one. Yeah, and it's tough enough to hit 95-plus mile-an-hour fastballs. That curve gives you something else to think about altogether. The 1-1 one, one home. And that misses two and one. This guy is almost no threat up at the plate. I mean, you could get away with fastballs right down the middle if you wanted to. Now the 2-1 pitch. A little too tall that time. 3-1 and one now. And whatever you do, you can't let that previous call eat at you. You've got to come back with your best pitch here on 3-1. and one. The 3-1 is on the way. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. Here's the payoff pitch. And he misses with it. Ball four. And a terrible start to the inning as he's walked the pitcher leading things off. If you're looking for a good way to add to a one-run lead, a leadoff walk never hurt. Let's see how they want to play this from here. D. Gordon will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here's the first offering. Fastball in there for a called strike. Come set. Now the pitch. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2-1. and one. Sometimes you just let a guy work his own way into trouble and then take advantage. Now the 2-1. He's fallen behind now. 3-1. He's got to be careful now that some of these borderline calls don't get him started going downhill. Yeah, and sometimes it's really easy to dwell on those, but you have to keep looking forward. It's not easy, but you've got to do it if you want to have success. Now the 3-1. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. A runner at first with no outs here. Now the payoff pitch home. And this is fouled back and out of play.
Now the three and two pitch. And look out. That's in very tight, and it's ball four. Carl Crawford stand in now with two on here and nobody out to begin the inning. And on the mound, he hasn't found himself in too many rough spots so far, so this might be his first real test of the ballgame. First pitch coming. In there, and it's 0-1. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. you got to think about bringing that one right back. He's set. Now the pitch. Oh, and he drives one into deep right center. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A three-run shot by Carl Crawford. His first homer here in the series as the Dodgers have increased their lead now four to nothing. Well, this is a pitch he'd love to have back. You can see where it is. Catching way too much of the plate. Now he's going to have to start this inning over from scratch, but with already three runs on the board. On his way out to the mound now, the Washington manager. And that's going to do it now for Steven Strasburg. So he'll leave after working just four innings, and this was not the kind of start he was looking for, I'm quite sure. Ross Ollendorf is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. And now is Yasiel Puig. Yasiel Puig. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. The 1 0. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Well, sometimes when you miss with your location, it actually works to your benefit. I mean, this pitch is further up than I think he wants it, but hey, it works out for him. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. So here's Matt Kemp now. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. One oh home. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Here's the one one. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Yeah, showing no fear there. He put the pitch right at the letters away, but that guy didn't want any part of it. Three runs already home here. The one two. And there's one that misses to Kemp as he works it back to two and two. Here he comes on two and two. Got him. Adrian Gonzalez would dig in. Took a cold third strike his last time. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Here we go. 
Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. The pitch. Nope. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. That's a pitch you have to lay off right there. That tight slider busting down and out of the zone, all that can do is tie you up. Now the one and one pitch. A little bit outside, two and one. A much better approach here at the plate so far. Now he's not working from behind in the count like he has his first few at-bats. Two out, nobody on. Here's the 2-1 to Gonzalez. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. The 2-2 coming. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Here now the 2-2. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at 3-2. and two. Full count pitch on its way. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. The next 3-2. Here's one hit hard to the right side and caught out there at second. Unlucky that time, and that ball will end the inning. But the Dodgers strike for three, all courtesy of the three-run home run. We're through five here this afternoon. It's now 4-0 L.A. Ryan Zimmerman will come in now to begin their half of the sixth, and it's been a struggle for them so far. Just three hits through the first five innings. And that's certainly not going to be enough to get the job done. And as the scoreboard bears out, if they want to get back in this game, I think this is the inning that it needs to start happening. Now here's the first pitch. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. The 1-0. Now a ball hit high in the air. Deep down the line in left. Hooking just a little, and that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So a solo home run here for Ryan Zimmerman. His first homer so far in the series. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. And even though this is only one run, this is important, not just because it gets them on the board, but also because they needed something to get the dugout going a bit. Give them some life. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left-hander has begun to get loose. Here's the first baseman, Adam LaRoche. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. One thing you can say with certainty, he's really tried to take some ownage on that inside part of the plate. It's something that you need to learn as a young pitcher. You've got to have that willingness to work inside, or guys at this level will just lean out over the plate and eat you up. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and And through just five innings, he's coming up on 100 pitches now. Here's the 2-0. Over the outside half, and it's 
Well, it's just game one of this series, but you almost have to wonder if they forgot to pack their offense when they got on the plane. It's been nowhere to be found so far. Here's the 2-1 pitch. 3-1 and one now as that misses down and in. one on the way now a swing as he hits this one into the air but well, this will be foul off to the right out of play payoff pitch coming and he struck him out and that's eight strikeouts thus far and you know he really doesn't have to throw that change up all that much for it to be an effective pitch and you can see what his breakdown is so far Nate McLeod will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Now here's the first pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. We've talked about all the strikeouts. The only side effect is right there, though. He's run up a pretty high pitch count now. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. Now here's the pitch. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here 1-2. And and that's a good spot for that fastball on 0-2. That couldn't have been an easy take. One and two with one away. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Again, a one-two. And a pitch taken by McLaughlin, and it's back to two and two now. Keep in mind now, the longer this at-bat goes, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning out there. comes a 2-2. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Anthony Rendon, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Three-two pitch. He goes the other way as this is hit well out toward deep left field. And this is taken in by Crawford now for out number two. You know, that's the thing with throwing a fastball as hard as he does. It makes fly balls travel that much farther off the bat. And this thing gets out there a long ways before it finally gets tracked down. Anthony Rendon will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Now here's the pitch. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. one oh swing and a ball hit well to the right side but this will get into the crowd ready now on one and one and this is going to be a foul ball here comes a one two and a good take there Close, but it's two and two. Yeah, that's a great pitch on one and two. Start it in the zone, and hopefully you'll get that guy thinking he needs to protect. Turned out to be a good take. Here's the two and two home. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Boy, nothing's really come easy for him so far on the mound. He's had to work for everything, and now he's got to deal with another full count.
Now the three and two pitch. Line hard. Foul. Once again, a 3-2. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. Just watching him from up here, you can see in the body language, he's really struggling out there right now. Four walks he's allowed. It's hard to allow that many without them coming back to bite you in the end. Oliver Tipton will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number five, Oliver Tipton. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Now, he might have been on the on-deck circle just saying, man, I get one at-bat and it's against this guy? Thanks a lot. He's set. Now the pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Hits are now even at four apiece. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. So tough to hang in there on that pitch, but you got to do it. You can't give up that inside corner, or this guy will eat you alive. Here comes the 1-2. This is lined into left field, a base hit. Okay, just get rattled. Now batting, shortstop, Ian Desmond. Ian Desmond will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. First pitch to him. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Runners left in scoring position. One of the big keys to this ball game so far. He waits. Now the pitch. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. And with some of these guys like they're in an 0-2 count before they even come to the plate. I can't get him to bite this time. It's one and two. Still now on one and two, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. Big pitch here, one and two. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. One run, five hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Here he comes again, 1-2. Now a slider in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. Now it doesn't take a trained eye to tell you. He's starting to wear down a bit out there on the mound. Sets the 2-2 two -two pitch. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Nationals on the board on the home run by Ryan Zimmerman. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's the Dodgers four and the Nats one. Drew Storen will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Number 22, Drew Storen. Hanley Ramirez. We'll start things out for the Dodgers in their half of inning number six. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side.
Now the pitch. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Now here it comes. Ball runs in on him here as this is flared out towards second and taken in out there for the first out. Oh, no. The catcher, number 17, A.J. Ellis. A.J. Ellis will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. First offering on the way. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Sixth inning. Four to one is our score. 1-0 pitch now. Looks at a sinker there that drops in one and one. One one. This ball will be chopped foul. Now the one two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Good start to the inning here out of the bullpen. After three runs came in to score last inning, they needed someone to come in here and slow that offense down a bit. Justin Turner will stand in 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. And here's the first pitch. Sinker to open the AB in there for strike one. And the pitch. Ball one. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Ooh, you might have felt the squeeze on that one. That might just change the whole complexion of the at-bat. One, one pitch on the way. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Right-hander deals on one and two. Here's a ground ball to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three go the Dodgers as they hold on to a four-to-one lead. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Seventh inning coming up now in game one as we take a look there at our game summary through the first six innings so far. There's Dodger manager Don Mattingly making his way out to confer with the home plate umpire and it would appear we're going to see a double switch here. J.P. Howell is on to pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Number 56, J.P. Howell. Now playing third base and batting in the ninth spot. Number Jason 15. Wood will start things oh. off here for Washington with Bryce Harper on deck due to hit second. Leading off for Washington, left fielder, Jason Wood. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. Well, you know, if there's anybody in this lineup capable of getting a rally started, this is the guy right here. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. 1-0 on the way. Fouled straight back.
One one on the way. In for strike two. Oh man, he must have been looking for something else. That was a curveball that had hit me written all over it, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Strike him out. Here's the lefty's offering on one and two. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. And even with the new pitcher in there, I think you tip your cap a bit to that starter. I mean, he, he gutted out six tough innings, and he's given his guys a good chance at victory if this bullpen can hold the lead. Bryce Harper will get another shot, struck out swinging his last time. First pitch on the way. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. We're in the seventh now. Four to one, our score to this point. Here's a 1 0. Fouled back. The 1 1. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. One, two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. I'd say he's made a pretty good impression since coming on. Two batters, two strikeouts to start the inning. Wilson Ramos will dig in. Strikeout victim his last time. First pitch coming. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. One zero on the way. And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this oh, lineup yeah. at bay. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Here's the one, two. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's the two and two offering. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. A two two one more time. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Ryan Zimmerman would be next. Full count pitch on its way. And this one misses inside a ball he walked in, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Yeah, even though he walks in here, it's not really a terrible pitch. I don't think it's a strike, but... It's definitely a pitch you'll get a lot of guys to wave at. Sometimes it's okay to keep trying to get guys to chase on three and two. Ryan Zimmerman will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. Here's the first pitch to him. Breaking ball for a strike. 0 and 1. Not a bad idea to take a look at that one there. Now that you've seen the curveball, you can start to get a better gauge on it. Get a feel for what it looks like coming out of the pitcher's hand. From the stretch. And that misses downstairs for a ball. 1 and 1. Here's the 1-1. One, one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, 
And on two and one right now, you got to figure this guy's wound up for the fastball here. Maybe you come with the breaking ball here out of the zone and hope he goes after it. Ready on two and one. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Now the 2-2 pitch. Grounded foul. Now another 2-2. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. It's the Dodgers four and the Nats one. Thomas Whiters will come on and as he's newly entered into the ball game he'll get his first plate appearance now here in inning number seven first pitch coming and a first pitch slider is right there for strike one Here's the pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Now the pitch. And a bouncing ball, foul. The 0-2 once more. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. And he was really late on this one. I mean, really late. You can see where the baseball is by the time he gets the barrel through. I mean, it's darn near in the catcher's glove already. That tells me he was probably looking for something else. Here's D. Gordon now. As he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's the 1-0. Another sinker here, but this one's over for strike one. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. He's thrown a lot of strikes. That's what you want. Now the 1-1. One, one. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Yeah, that's just the same pitch three times in a row. I guess he figures why mess with success when you get it to one and two. Now the one two home to Gordon. Hard sinker misses two and two. Two pitch on the way. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. On deck is Carl Crawford. Crowd gets up for the three two. And a half hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Since coming in in the sixth, he's knocked down five in a row. He's giving him a real lift out there. Carl Crawford will stand in as he's accounted for one of the biggest at-bats of the game so far. A three-run shot back in the fifth that's really energized his ball club. Yeah. 
Here's the first offering. Now a bunt attempt here. But the throw will beat him at first, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. Dodgers down in order, but they lead it 4-1. Paco Rodriguez will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Paco Rodriguez. Adam LaRoche will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. First baseman number 25. Adam LaRoche. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And that's taken for strike one. Boy, that's almost like taking an overhand right from the champ right there. He couldn't even think about pulling the trigger that time. The pitch. And this is fouled straight back. Now here's the pitch. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. The one-two. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Another 1-2 delivery. He'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Now another 1-2. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. Well, the Dodgers trying to close this one out in front of the home crowd here at Dodgers Stadium as you get a look there at our line score through the first seven plus. Nate McLeod will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. First pitch coming. Lays off 1-0. and And time's getting short here. You don't want to have to face that closer in the ninth inning needing three runs. They need to cut that gap down somehow. Here's the 1-0. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. The second baseman, number two, Anthony Rendon. Anthony Rendon will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Now the first pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Eighth inning. Four to one is our score. Now the pitch. Now here's a swing and another chance out there at second. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they were pulled the out. Nationals gone in order. They trail it four to one. Yasiel Puig will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Seems he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence. But he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand.
Now the first pitch. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. Now here it comes. Ball one. The one one home. Rounded to third. And Zimmerman will throw across the diamond in time for the first out. He's put together two spotless innings so far out of the bullpen. I think a third would be above and beyond the call of duty. Matt Kemp will have another go. He struck out looking his last time. Here's the first offering. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Here comes the 1-0. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Throw on to first takes care of Kemp as he's turned away for the second out. Two more ground outs, and that's the product of throwing that sinker. Just about every time you swing at it, you're either going to hit the top of it or miss it altogether. And if you do hit it, you're going to be killing all the worms out there in front of home plate. Adrian Gonzalez will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Now here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Two out, nobody on. Pitch on the way. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Come on, mate. Come and now a pitch on the way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Another 0-2 coming. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 now. And the pitch. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. One, two, three, go the Dodgers as they hold on to a four to one lead. Kenley Jansen is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Thomas Windsor is going to be asked to try and be the rally starter as he's up off the bench, ready to lead it off in the ninth. Windsor. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now the pitch. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. The pitch. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Well, you know when you get two strikes on you, you go into that protection mode up there at the plate. Let's see where this pitch winds up. Oh, yeah. That thing's nowhere near the strike zone, and that's a good job of making a guy go fishing for something he didn't really want to hit. Here's the shortstop, Ian Desmond, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one.
Here's the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. One out, nobody on. Here comes the one one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. The two one home to two and two now. Two. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Well, that pitch is so low and such an easy take that you basically waste that opportunity you had on two and two. Three and two. Here it is. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. And they'll take this on to first, and they're down to their final out, two away. Jason Wirth is the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. Now here's the first pitch. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. Now here's the pit. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. One pitch. Fouled back. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. We'll try again one, two. Two and two now with two out here in the ninth. count offering and the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate so we'll do it again still three and two the three two pitch and this is taken low for ball four and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all great at bat there because the guy is just one out away from finishing this up I mean you've got one job to do at the plate and that's to get on base any way you can. Now, even with two outs, game's not over yet. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. First offering on the way. I was fighting that swing the whole way, but he went around. It's no balls and a strike. A runner on first with two away. From the belt, kicks and deals. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. 
drifting toward the third base dugout. And he'll squeeze this one for the final out. And the Dodgers have taken their first step as they claim game one here at home. This ball game is over. It's about what we've come to expect here from Jansen as he comes in here to fire a scoreless ninth and finish off the Dodger victory. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Guys, if you're going to be successful in the postseason, as you know, you need players coming up big. And this guy certainly did that. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and prove your medal. I think his performance here was by far the big key to this ball game. So that's a wrap here this afternoon. For EK, Psycho, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. The Dodgers win it 4-1. to one. So long from Southern California. this afternoon for the victorious Dodgers. Four runs on four hits. No errors. They left four men on base. For the Nationals, one run, five hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. Time for the ball game. Two hours and 45 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon, a sellout, 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending today's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.